week three. When people talk about New Zealand or South Island rock music, they always tend to focus on Dunedin. I did this too. I moved to Dunedin 10 years ago to chase the rock music. A year later, I was pulled up to Christchurch for a job. And the music scene here was so good. I thought, why aren't people talking about Christchurch too? I thought I would introduce you to the one and only in my bottle. My bubble buddy, Brian Fury. Time for more music, but of a rather different variety. Roger Shepard with Flying Nun, Rob Mays with Failsafe Records, and now Brian Fury with Melted Ice Cream. Brian is a drummer in about every single band. Brian can't make it to his practice shed in Woolston, where he does most of his mixing. So he's getting up to a lot of stuff here instead. Brian's created a graph estimating how long we're going to be in lockdown. Uh, this is 25th, that's one month from the start of the lockdown. And that still says there's new infections coming along up here. And I predict because of that, that lockdown will be extended. The government won't do it less than two weeks. They'll probably do it a month. So we'll either be coming out of lockdown on the 9th of May, so somewhere around here, or a whole month after that, 25th of May. He's still doing Sheep Technique, the local New Zealand music show on RDU. Good way to start a Sheep Technique is the 3Ds, I've got to say. He's doing ads for RDU. Vapo, New Zealand's number one vaping specialists. He's making amazing soups. Mm, done. It's pretty easy, actually. Today is the spring cleaning of the X Little Tank. It is in, at an, an embarrassing state. Um, They're actually looking pretty happy though. You can tell that they're unhappy if their gills go forward. Small independent music labels have long been a mainstay of the Christchurch music scene, and the humble audio cassette tape is, with Melted Ice Cream, playing a big part. Over the last year, Brian Ferry and his label have released some 30 albums and EPs on cassette. If you want to have your music released in Christchurch, get to know Brian. I really wish there was some detergent for this sort of shit. Some like extra little friendly detergent. Maybe I can. There's nothing that came off. There is no detergent that is friendly for extra little. Don't butter, 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 butter. butter. Brings me to my next question, which is really around the health of the scene. Last year, Brian, you produced and released, and I think recorded a lot of it in your lockup. Um, That's right. A compilation called Sick of Smashes from Arson City, a compilation of the current scene. It looks from that release, and there's a bit of a map of the different bands in their associations on our website. It's like that the scene is pretty still healthy. It's um, there's not a lot of new blood coming into the scene. I'll I'll say that, but PGX is one of the new bands. Our cassette came out last month. Four people commented on our page. That was pretty cool. You guys put the EP out on Melted Ice Cream Records. Can you tell me a bit about how you got hooked up with Melted Ice Cream? Mary, maybe you can take this one. Um, 
Well, m- melted ice cream is, is sort of run by our friend Brian Fury, and he is also Hannah's flatmate and a super awesome guy, and, and we're lucky to know him. be on an awesome gig lineup in Christchurch, just get to know Brian. Jenny and I were in the darkroom bathroom a year or two ago and looking around at all the cool posters on the wall, and we saw our name everywhere. Most of that had to do with being part of Brian's shows. Our name is so small, even though we're a nobody band, it looks so big on the poster. Great band secret, I swear. Shorter name, more poster space. And if you look at that band map they're talking about, about all the incestuous bands, PGX is like <laughs> in the corner. No one there has been in a band before. So thank you, Brian, for believing in us. It was so great playing his Better Living Festival in 2017. He's curating an Instagram version of his Better Living Festival this year. They're gonna live stream from the Instagram accounts of a bunch of lockdown artists in Christchurch and Dunedin and feature it through his Melted Ice Cream website. And that's on Friday. So he's been pretty busy. I, I used to make websites and now I'm a bit rusty. I had grand plans for a website. That's kind of what it says. It says new website underway. It's just been underway for, I don't know, since was it. College. We could encourage like DIY poster runs, like make people print it out at home on their printers, and then put it on the on the street. This kind of a doing their one. Yeah, doing that. Runway, right? Doing that one one government sanctioned. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna do that. Something come together. I'm starting to feel pretty stoked with it. This is my attempt at recreating. Um, the title card from a 1990s infomercial that um, used to advertise cling wrap. With Glad on your side, it's easy to save good food from going bad. Better living, everyone. Head to Instagram if you can this Friday. Check out some amazing New Zealand South Island rock music bands from Dunedin and Christchurch. PGX didn't get invited to play, Ben. Is it because I'm not very good on piano? Brian has been very supportive of my stabs at the piano. It's a pretty powerful chorus. I think actually probably worth jumping into it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right. I can try another take. I'll be, it'll be good about the third time, probably. Mm. And he's all around just a good cunt. I love you, Brian. Just slow.